Hi everyone, I'm back with another video showing you what's going out in the post today. So today's Tuesday and this is everything that's sold since Friday when I did the last video. So Friday lunchtime to first thing this morning. It's been a really, really good um, weekend. Uh, if you're new to watching our video, I'll just give you a little brief intro. I'm Faye and my husband Simon and we're FNS resellers. Uh, you can find us here on YouTube, obviously, but also at FNS Resellers on Instagram as well. Uh, we quit our jobs about in 2017, actually, and we're full-time resellers, and it's the best thing we ever did. Looking back, I would... <laughs> it's, just, it's been the best journey. It really has been the best journey. And we wouldn't change it for the world. So if you've got any questions or you're considering... Uh, reselling part-time as a hobby a little bit of extra income or doing it full-time then give us a shout we, we can always help if we can um, yeah so we source from charity shops retail stores auctions eBay Amazon and the odd Facebook marketplace pickup we do the odd um, car boot when they're on <laughs> but we're not real big car booters it's mainly charity shops and auctions. And obviously the last year it's been very difficult. So a lot of our stock has come from auctions and wholesale. So uh, most of our stuff is buy it now. Uh, we do run auctions on a Sunday, seven day auctions starting at 99p plus post, just to clear out old stock, older than sort of four or five months. Um, if we've got like collectible pieces or things that are kind of interesting and expensive then we, we won't rush to get those out the door they can sit around waiting for the right buyer for a while uh, but overall just the general stuff that we sell we don't like to hang on to for too long <clears throat> i have got a bit of everything to show you today i am surrounded by stuff it's like up to here next to me uh, so we've got a total of £1,159.59 £59 worth of stock which is 56 items going out and it is I think it's one Amazon actually on there so that doesn't include the Amazon so it'll be about it's about 1200 pounds um no Depop or Vintage this weekend because uh, we have been cross-listing to Depop and Vintage just to clear things through and uh, I don't think anything's sold since Friday and that was in the Friday video so it's been quiet on there I don't think Vintage's great uh, Depop's all right um but people want things for nothing so ebay is kind of where we're at we don't spend too much time on those platforms other than ebay and amazon uh, so let me show you as usual i'll do the breakables first <clears throat> so we have a few i say i'll do them first i've got two in front of me but i don't i might be other ones buried for all i know so this one here is quite old we've had it since january 2020 which is a long time for us the cost price was 10 pounds kind of regret buying it we've sold it for 10 pound plus post so 17.99 because it will go ups as a parcel but yeah it's a dresser set it's made of china it's seven piece and it's pm morschendorf bavaria and it's this sort of pattern here it's a bit of a white because it's been in the barn it's quite cute. It, on the back, it's got the brand or the make, and it's got 1527 sort of engraved in it. I'm not sure what the relevance of that is, but it comes as a tray, some trinket pots, a couple of candlesticks. They're all sort of wrapped up. Um, yeah, so the, the pattern goes across the whole lot, but it's all wrapped up in here, so you get the idea. Probably won't pick up dressing table sets unless they're special. Um, but you live and learn and that's what it's all about learning and we like to try different things and that was from a charity shop that wasn't from an auction so if we do end up with things like that from the auction in the future I doubt we'd pay £10 per item um, this next one's a paperweight as you know like selling paperweights we picked up I think I did a video about it a few weeks ago we picked up 21 paperweights um, in an auction bundle and I wasn't that happy with them. We didn't get to view them because you can't go and view. So it was really just one picture on, on the laptop that I could see. Didn't know any makes, didn't know any brands, didn't know if they had chips, cracks, scratches or what. And some of, a lot of them were scratched. I think a lot of them were Chinese 
um, sort of copies. Um, so it's a bit disappointing, but this one was good. I, I listed them all yesterday. So I did 21 um, paperweight listings yesterday. And this is a Kate, it sold last night. It's a Kate Ness, which is a Scottish make. And I keep steaming it up because I'm breathing on it. And it's called Gemini. And it's really pretty. It's got like a pink flower. And I know it's called Gemini because on the bottom it's stamped Kate Ness. And then it says Gemini. So, and it says Scotland as well, you can't really see it. You have to get it in the right light to see. So really pleased with that one because that cost me £2.59, listed and sold in the same day, and I sold it for £20. And Kate Ness, some Kate Ness do okay, some don't. If you come across Kate Ness in a charity shop, just look it up on your phone. Some of the um, different ones are numbered if they're limited edition. That one wasn't. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased. Pleased with that. 2.59 into 20. Can't grumble. Uh, the next one I was really excited about. So we have a load of beauty products that if I listed them individually or even as little bundles, it's going to take me ages. Ages and ages because each one's different. I don't really have any duplicates of items. There's probably 200 like individual little boxes and sachets of things. So I thought, oh, how can I get rid of it? So I thought I'd do a mystery box. Love them or hate them, I wanted to give it a go. Now, there are rules about selling mystery boxes on eBay. And I couldn't call it a mystery box. So I called it a beauty random selection and put bundle in there. And then I kind of covered the sort of areas that you might get an item from. So hair, body, skin, pampering. And I put this all brand new. I did three different uh, versions of it. I've done, oh, I've gone cheap on one of them because I thought if I can sell one and they hopefully leave me feedback, a positive feedback, then it might entice other people to buy. So I did a, just a really cheap one, six items for five pound plus free post and uh, large letter. So it, it, it gets stuff out the door, but hopefully it will um, mean that they're happy with their items. I've put some good stuff in there and they leave good feedback. And then people might buy, because I've got watches on my other ones. I've got one where you get 20 items and another one where you get 14, I think. So I'm just going to put it in an envelope. And I've chosen, because I'll just do pick and mix, choose at random. And it's definitely worth more than £5. We've got Crystal Collagen Gold Powder Eye Mask. Got some of those. We've got just like an eye mask for travel or for sleeping. But they're the ones that are kind of molded so they don't touch your eyelids so they don't press on your eyelids we've got some Korea Hyal hyaluronic acid serum in a sealed packet we've got cuticle revitalizer oil a body shop face mask drops of youth and pocket mist hand, san hand sanitizer spray lavender I think that's well worth a fiver, so hopefully they'll be pleased with that. Fingers crossed, they leave me a good review. Not those in there. Okay, next. Big item that I can get out of the way. Oh, some wellies. Don't pick up wellies, but they were in a big shoe job, shoe job lot. That we picked up the brand is SKO apostrophe S, so Scores, Scores, and they're a size seven, they're light pink, and they're brand new with tags that are in there somewhere. But we've sealed it up, and they cost seven pounds 83. They came with like really expensive trainers, so these were just kind of what we call fodder the stuff that we're not interested in, but we sell through anyway. And we sold them for 15 pounds, but these are in there. These Adidas Stan Smith trainers, they're brand new. They've got their tags on still up the top here. And they, I think they cost £7.83. Um, listed them this month and they sold for £59.99. So really pleased with those. Oh, something that came as part of a big job lot of garden and outdoor items is this garden furniture set. So the brand is Woodside. It's a heavy duty waterproof garden rattan cube set cover. So if you've got rattan, a cube set, a table and chairs in your garden, this is the cover for it. 
I put the measurements of the item in the title because obviously that's what people really need to see. It cost £4.43 in January and we sold it for £19.99. Don't know what to take so it all falls off. Oh yeah, this train. This was in a job lot of toys that Simon picked up um, a few weeks ago. It might be, yeah, I think it was in one of his videos. <laughs> Bless me, excuse me. <laughs> Um, it's not Brio, but it looks like it'd be compatible with Brio. Therefore, we couldn't sell it for as much. Uh, for some reason, it's not on here. I don't know why. Weird. Hang on. Have I typed in the right thing? Car. I, hmm. Ah, rail, wooden car, loader, vehicles, engine, locomotive, carriage, railway. That's basically the title. Cost £2.11, listed this month and sold it for £8. I don't know if it's like a supermarket brand. Big Gigs Toys. No, it's not a supermarket brand. It's cute. These are really popular at the moment. These are like little desk trays. So this one goes on the arm of your sofa so you can put your laptop or your mug of tea or whatever. And they actually sell them in Costco because we were in there last week and saw them in there. And so it came with a big bundle of Costco homeware stuff. The brand is Apollo. It's a flexible sofa tray and it's wood with felt underneath. It cost £8.81 as part of a homeware bundle in February and we sold it for £9.99. So that's not great, but there would have been other things in the bundle that we'd have wanted. So got rid of that. I think I've shown you these before. We sold, well, we've got loads of these as a big sort of sock um, and accessories bundle. They cost £1.76, listed this month and sold for £8. So just easy, stick it in an envelope, out the door, gone. Something that's been hanging around a while, I think. Simon's more the toy guy, I'm the everything else kind of person. Uh, it's a Hello Kitty heart-shaped puzzle. Yeah, we've had it since November. It cost £7.33 as part of a big toy bundle that had some really good collectible games in that we've done really well on. Um, but this one, we couldn't make our money back on it. it we sold it for £5.82. But it means someone gets to play with a nice Hello Kitty puzzle. It's brand new. It's too good to get rid of. So we did the right thing in selling it. Another game. We've got two of these. Uh, this one... Sold, hopefully the other one will sell soon. Shrouds, the game, uh, it's a classic 90s edition. Cost 6 99 as part of a toy bundle and we listed it in November and it sold for, no. It cost us £7.33 in November and we sold it for 6 99 so not great. We sold loads of these before and we would normally get them for like 50p, £1.50, never £7.33. If you saw this, for £7.33, don't buy it. Um, ah, and something else that sold quite quickly is this Super Dry hoodie. I don't pick up Super Dry um, as a rule. It was in a clothing bundle that we got recently. Um, it's orange label. I don't know if that means anything. I, I don't really know anything about Super Dry, but I made sure it was in the title just in case. It's women's because it's got a sort of a pink sparkly uh, logo. And it's full zip, size 14, and it's not new, didn't have tags. It cost £4, listed this month, and I took an offer of 15 just to get it gone. I had cross-listed this one to Depop, so I removed it straight away because it sold on eBay. This one's a good one. We've, I've talked about these in previous videos. I picked up a load of printer toners, but like big bulky printers, like proper printers that you get in sort of big offices and uh, graphic design studios, that sort of thing. So it's um, a, a Konica Minolta is the printer it's for. And this is just a, a magenta toner cartridge. It's quite big, as you can see. We had about four, no, five or six of these, and then we had loads of sort of rubbishy little um, refillable ones that aren't great, but we've made our money back on these because this cost £5.19, listed it in January, and I took an offer of £45. Uh, 
sandals, Nike sandals, had these a little while. We ended up getting them sort of in the winter, so not the best time for sandals, especially when people can't go on holiday somewhere hot this, uh, this last year. They cost £18.33. They're Nike Canyon sandals. And they're, they're actually sold out um, in a lot of places and they've got really good reviews. Um, brand new with tags. Still in their box. So they cost £18.33 and we sold them for 40 Simon, I'm so glad that this sold last night. It's just a silicon cupcake mold baking tray thing. Then we've got three different colours in a homeware bundle uh, back at the end of the summer, September. It cost £2.35. We don't normally pick this sort of thing up. Thought they'd sell when the bake off was on, but um, no. And they it sold for £4.94. Oh, I've nearly emptied a tray. Crap jigsaw alert. <laughs> this one was in a toy bundle. It's Swallow's Nest Castle Crimean Landscapes, a thousand piece. Uh, it cost £7.33 as part of a bundle in November and it sold for £8.99. It's got a dent hole in the box, but it's still new with cellophane. So we would have mentioned that in the listing. Right, and on. Yay! Oh, I've got to get this big one out of the way. So, I, in my last video, I said that I was kind of, I had things around that I was putting off listing for months and months and months. And this next one's one of them. I listed it and within 48 hours it sold. So, I should have listed it ages ago. It's a Disney Animal World Play Along library and there's 60 books so i think the deal was you paid like 6.99 a week or a month or something and you got a book and a figure so there's some disney figures at the bottom there's animal figures there's more there and you collected them over a series like a period of time because there's two of these there's another one in there so there's 60 books in total we paid five pound for the whole lot and it includes a play mat and some instructions and some other bits and bobs we paid five pounds at a sort of garage yard sale last summer still got the price on it actually um yeah so it came with 60 books in their original cardboard sleeves but they've been read the sleeves of wear and tear and I said it includes the playmat, the leaflet, the 11 Disney characters, 69 animals and 40 accessories. And there's a wigwam, one of the rods of the wigwam has snapped. Uh, I mentioned that, but I said it can easily be taped. It seems like it's highly collectible. People do sell them individually, but I hadn't, there was no solds or anything to go by for um, the whole, well, it's not even the whole set. It's the whole set of books, but I don't think it's the whole set of animals. Um, we sold it for $74.99, so that was a result. So I'm just gonna move this, hold on. There's literally stuff everywhere. So yeah, five pound into $74.99 is a result. This is another one that's been sitting around a while. It's Fashion Wheel. You might remember it from the 80s. It's not, I don't think it's the original one. Um, but it's, Simon tried to list it and he was a bit confused of what should be in there. <laughs> so he got me to do it, but I was putting it off for whatever reason, I don't know why. It's only got the wheel hasn't got the crayons, the pencils, the paper. It's in like a, on a plastic sort of base, but that's kind of perished over time. So I declared all of that, mentioned all the issues with it, the fact that the box has got wear and tear. And it cost us three pounds. Um, I think I listed it like last Thursday. And it, well, no, it would have been Friday. And it sold for 18.99. So another one that's been sitting around that I should have listed. 
a 99p auction one here. I'm pretty sure. Um, Manga Force, Manga Force. Just going through my wait and dispatch list. Yeah, Manga Force DVDs, anime, Heat Guy, J Tokyo, Underground, Appleseed, Mark Cross. Um, five of them are sealed, one of them's not. We paid 11.94 for these in August. I think we were just like, woo, we can go out and source the charity shops. And we sold for 99p plus post. So that wasn't great. Another really quick sale. These bowls, blooming heavy. They sold, listed yesterday and sold yesterday. They're Hensley Lawn Bowls, Emerald, Ladies, size one, heavy, medium, black, gripped, zero nine, and they're in their box. So Simon knows his stuff about bowls. He's doing a video or he's done a video. They cost £13.11 and we sell them for £69.99 plus post. They'll go UPS at £77.98 in total. So really good turnaround on those. I think that's the end of the heavy stuff. Oh no. No, we've got this one now. We've got, I've shown you these before. We've been collecting over the times. Um, Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events books. Uh, yeah, oh, here we go. So it works out. There's 13 books in the set. The, the 13th is the hardest one to get. Um, but we've got, I think, maybe one more set to complete and then I don't know if we'll pick them up again. Uh, so it costs about £13. We pay between sort of up to a pound a book, really, and we sold it for £30. And they use an Insta, so we declare the condition of the pages. And we also, like in, in the Lemony Snicket books, you can add your name. So the kids write their name in. So if, if there's a name in there, we'll probably mention that as well. Yeah, that is definitely the end of the heavy stuff. Okay, right. Hats, I love hats, as you know, they're so quick to list, so easy to pack. And um, what more can you want? This is a New Era MLB Major League Baseball uh, 5950 hat. So it's got the sticker on it and it says the size, which is 7 and 1 8. It's New York Yankees. Cost 98p, listed this month and sold for 19.99. Oh, this was a really good one. Uh, this was, I think Simon bought this on its own. Lord of the Rings trilogy, limited edition 4K steelbook. Theatrical and extended, it's brand new and sealed, cost £98.70. Got it in February, sold it for £164.99. He was really pleased with that. This was a sale this morning that I woke up to actually. It's a TM Lewin tie that we got in an accessories bundle. It's brand new, still in its original packaging. It's got its label on it, still says, um, the RRP, which is $29.95, sold it for a, a tenner. I got an offer, um, I listed it in October, it cost me $1.85. I don't want to hang on to ties. People, less and less people are going to be wearing ties because less and less people will actually be like commuting to offices and stuff. So glad to get rid of that. It is silk and there is money in ties, but I didn't pick these particular ties. They were just in a bundle of accessories. So. I'm not precious about that one. These were a really quick sale the other day. They were in the shoe bundle that I picked up recently. They're Sinita Professional Oiled Closed Clogs. So they're clogs that they've got like your whole foot's in there. They're not just slip on like a uh, sling back type. They're brand new. They're only a size three though. They're oiled leather and they cost me £2.35 and I sold them for £35. And I thought when they, I realised they were a size three, I thought, oh God, they're gonna be hanging around for ages, but no. Sold within like 24 hours. Another hat, this one is just, I have that. If I, I think I said before, if I see things that I think are poor quality, if they're things that have got writing on, but the uh, writing is really, sort of badly put together i will search on google for um what it is and then i'll put wish or alibaba 
and normally I'll find it. So it's nothing special because I found it. It's a motors racing team, not motor racing, motors racing team. So that's what made me think, hmm, yeah, that's not great. Um, baseball cap, it costs 98p in March, or oh, this month. And I've just listed it at five pounds just to get it gone. And it went, there was loads of them for sale. Um, sold these once already and they came back, but they sold again this morning. They're a two pack of men's swimming shorts. They're Boohoo Men, so not a brand that I like picking up, but they were in a, a bundle of clothes from last year. Listed them in October, they cost £1.93 and took an offer of £10, which is still profit in it. And swimwear, we don't tend to pick up swimwear on purpose, but we've got a lot of swimwear from bundles of clothing and underwear and stuff. We always get to put in those. Um, but hopefully they'll start selling now because a lot of people are thinking about holidays. So yeah, uh, that's good. Hopefully they don't come back again. Another 99p auction, just a fast fashion top. Uh, not something I'd pick up, it's misguided. It's a crop top, it's a UK 12. I thought I'd listed this over on Depop as well, but I hadn't. Sold on eBay for 99p plus post. It cost, part of the bundle, £2.43, listed it in June. So no money on that one, but it needed to go. <laughs> Another 99p auction, sort of in line with the um, swimming shorts really. This is sold once when we were on holiday. Um, so we had long dispatch times on it and the person had to cancel because it wasn't going to arrive in time. It's a snorkel, kids snorkel and mask set. Cost 81p as part of a sportswear bundle randomly in August and we sold it for 99p plus post. So someone's optimistic that they're going to be able to use that. Another 99p auction is this Apple Cora in a, that we got in a homeware bundle. Cost 81p in August last year and sold for 99p plus post. It doesn't even feel great quality. It looks like the decent apple would break it. And next up, we have a rat race, rat racer, sort of multifunctional snood, so you can wear it loads of ways. It's got the instructions on the packet of how you can wear it. Hat, scarf, snood, um, wristband, sweatband. And it costs £3.25 as part of a bundle in January and it sold for £5.64. But it'll just go in an envelope. <coughs> Excuse me, tickly throat. We really have a panic attack earlier because I couldn't find this, but I just wasn't looking very well. Um, it's God's Plan, is the brand. It's a tiger sweatshirt, it's large, it's got an oversized graphic on the front of a tiger. It's men's, it costs £1.93 as part of a clothing bundle in December, and we sold it for £15. We've got a few God's Plan items, we've got some like, random looking jeans that are very tight, like spray on jeans for men. Um, I'd never heard of the brand until we um, got it in a few bundles, but I wouldn't pick it up. Um, maybe you know better, maybe there's certain pieces, I don't know, but it's not something I'd pick up again. I'm trying to come away from clothes, so I don't enjoy listing them. Some incense cones, backflow incense cones, I think. Yeah, so they're the ones that create sort of like a smoky effect. You have to use them on special backflow burners. These are wild berries, so these are an American um, brand. The scent is Ocean Wind, and we sold them for £3.39. We've just had loads of these hanging around. PC game. <coughs> Simon picks up a job lot, and they cost about 50p each. Uh -huh. And if you've watched our other videos, you know I kept getting confused at the cost price. So this is Farming Simulator 15, it's going abroad and it's sold for £13.34. So 50p into £13.34 is good, especially when it's easy to pack. A firearms book. Simon picks up a job lot of firearms items back um, at the start of the year. He told me he put a sticker on it to say how much we paid. I think he paid like Let's go with a fiver and it sold for, no, maybe it didn't. 
I don't know what he, no, I don't know what he paid, but it sold for £14.74. I don't think this is the book you put a sticker on. That sold on Amazon. So J Lister, we cross list all our listings, our Amazon listings via J Lister onto eBay. And just to give like um, sort of more coverage for the listings. So it does work. We've just got very limited Amazon stock at the moment because we haven't been able to source the items we want to source. A uh, pair of shoes that we picked up in a shoe bundle. The brand is Walk London, never heard of them. Don't think I'll pick them up again. Well, if I saw them in a charity shop, I wouldn't pick them up. They are sort of tassel loafers, brand new, leather, nice shoes. Um, they look very hard, that's gonna give someone a blister. Uh, they cost seven pounds and nine p in September and we sold them for 20 pounds, 25. We were slowly lowering the price on those. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I said that Simon really got into breast pumps last year. He sort of learned a lot about breast pumps just from seeing them available in an auction and wanting to see if there was money in them. And it, there is. They're kind of very popular in America, but not as popular here. So there's less brands. Um, but this one, well, he sold all our breast pump kits. He was, they were arriving every week, like four or five sets. And then he was left with sort of um, bits that, spares, things like that. So he, the, we'd covered the cost price in all the sets that we'd sold. So all the accessories left were, had a zero value. So this is a unit only, he knows what that means. Um, it's a Medela Freestyle Flex Electric two-phase breast pump. It's fully working, apparently he tested it. Um, <laughs> And he listed it this month and he sold it for 99.99 and that will go UPS just because of the value. So yeah, that's a good one. Another 99p auction is this three pack of snoods. They came in an accessories bundle back in December. They were all sort of satin, um, satin sort of style fabric, navy blue, a green one, and I think there's a black one. So I just bundled them together. People use them as sort of face masks, don't they? So it cost £1.93 for these three and I sold them for £6.47. It wasn't an auction, it was full price. So £6.47, not bad, not great. And I've got to stand up again. These are, I've talked about these before. They're wooden toys, kids sort of, wooden toys we bought a load of them and it was a, sort of a bad buy really bad buy we spent £12.91 on each set thinking that they were going to be really good and they're not so big mistake won't buy them again they cost yeah £12.91 and we sold them for £1.4p plus post so £4.99 don't do it kids Simon was very pleased with this sale He's got a load of these and the brand is Standing Bear. It's a compact camping inflatable sleeping pad mat, um, pillow and carry sack. We've got quite a few available, but I reckon camping is going to be a big business this year. Um, they cost £7.39 each, listed in February, and we sold this one for 20 quid. Not bad. I wouldn't sleep on it though. I have a king size airbed if we go camping and I have my feather pillows. <laughs> oh, this one I was so pleased with. So we got left, well, sometimes when we pick up homeware bundles, there can be some real sort of rubbish items in there, stuff that I don't even know what it is half the time. And I thought, what can I do with this, this one that I've got? I just didn't want to list the items. I didn't want to throw them out. I didn't want them to go to landfill. So I thought I'd make a bundle, but I'll be really honest in my bundle. So this is it. Random sort of gold string. Um, stuff you can put on your fire to make the flames a different colour. Uh, balloons, a bouncy ball, key ring, rubbers, beads, wooden letters, but just a few. Um, yeah, just 
stuff I've got. Oh yeah, these things that you put on your car vent and um, you can then rest at like a McDonald's or Burger King or KFC sauce pot on them. So you don't have to hold your sauce when you go through the drive through and dip your nuggets in. It's like a thing actually designed that clips on your vent and you can just like dip your nugget in. I mean, come on. Who knew they were a thing? So yeah, this, um, I described it as a job lot. There's 80, well, there's, there's probably more than 84 items. But I put job lot 84, I did count them. And then I put Wish Alibaba items, unsorted. And then I put craft, home, accessories, brand new car boot. Because it is all brand new and it could be fine for a car boot. But, so I just took a picture of it all zoomed in. I think I only took one, yeah, because I mean, I wasn't going to take a picture of everything. I put in the description, includes wooden letters for crafts and home decor, a bouncy ball balloons, home accessories and more. The bag is unsorted. No idea what most of it is. I just need it gone. Ideal for car boot, resellers, market traders, etc. And that's what I put. And it sold really quickly. It cost... Did I put the cost price? Uh, let's have a look. Um, bundle. I don't know if I did put a cost price. £4.49 was the cost price. And it sold for £16.99 plus... 7.99 pounds, so it's going 24.98 UPS. So I'm so happy with that because it gets it out of here, um, and someone else can deal with it. Got a few other ones listed that I did at the same time, so hopefully they'll go soon as well. Oh, just a few things left now. Um, got a load of wool in like a craft bundle. Uh, listed wool before but made the mistake of not adding posts i did it free posts so it's like they can't go large letter so this is a sheep olifante so it's a dutch brand i think um it's 100 acrylic yarn and i put the color i did a variation this thing of all the colors we've got i did 199 plus post it cost about 20p a, a, a ball so that's, that's all right uh, some slippers sold very quickly. I listed the other day. They're original penguin. They're brand new with tags and they cost £2.35. Listed them over the weekend and they sold for £16.99. Hats. So this is My Name's Doddy. It's uh, My Name's Doddy Foundation bubble hat. So I think there's a Scottish rugby player called Doddy who has motor neurone disease and he's got his own motor neurone disease charity <clears throat> and whenever I have any charity items in our bundles I always put a donation to charity on the listing so I couldn't find his charity to do it on the list of ones you can do on eBay so I chose motor neurones um, charity Scotland so I think 10% or 20% is going to there so it cost 98p uh, listed it this month and it sold for 12.99 I did another one for, we've got some hearing dogs for the deaf, tea towels, I think, yeah, two tea towels. So I've done a um, donation to there, so the hearing dogs for the deaf charity. With our country file calendars, I did um, every single one that sold had a donation to BBC Children in Need. Uh, yeah, so we do do it. Uh, this is the one that Simon put the sticker on. So a old book called The Enemy Is Listening, The Story of the Y Service by Eileen Clayton. It cost seven pounds and he sold it for 32 pound 50 on Amazon. Last few bits. A water bottle in this mustard color, stainless steel, three lid with a carabiner, carabiner, whatever it's called. Uh, came as a big job lot of bottles. Paid £1.93 for it in December and it sold for £7.69. We made our money back on the bottles ages ago. We had some really good ones that just flew. Oh, we've just got a few left now. Um, a belt. I think it's Boohoo. Is it Boohoo? Yeah, Boohoo plus size double ring detail boyfriend belt. Uh, cost £1.93 in November, sold for £6. I've said it before, I just like to clear through the fast fashion items that we've got as part of bundles, don't want them hanging around, cross-list them over to Depop and get them gone. 
Oh, another breakable. Really surprised that this one didn't sell very quickly because it's quite unique. There's actually two, uh, but different sizes. And we sold one of them really quickly and this one just hung around. So we've had them since August. Paid three pound and six P as part of a big glass bundle that came with loads of paperweights. And it's brand new, it's still got a sticker in it. And it sold for 871. It's called a Wolfer Glass Marrakesh Candy Dish. Don't pull over. The person that bought the dressing table set that I started the video with also bought these. It's like a little cruet set, so salt and pepper um, and a mustard pot with lid. It looks like it's cracked, but it's not. It's where the spoon goes. Um, brand new in the box. They're Royal Worcester and the design is Palissy. Cost six pound in December. Been hanging around too long, um, so I just got rid of them for a tenner because she's paid for postage on the other thing, so it's fine. They can go in there. If, if someone had else had bought these, we'd have covered the postage because we do free post, so that's fine. Um, good sale here with some tracksuit bottoms. These are Calvin Klein. They're brand new, but they haven't got the tags on. We sell these as a two pack. They're from Costco. Costco was selling, um, and I've done, um, they've been in some of my videos before. So they do a two pack of gray and black. And um, these had obviously fallen out the two pack and that's why they were in the auction as a, in a clothing bundle. bundle. Uh, they're extra large and they cost four pounds, listed them this month and sold them for 22 pound 50. Something else from Costco, a clothing bundle, is this DKMY Nighty. Had a few of these. Again, these were also sold in Costco as a two pack, but the packs get split in the shop sometimes. They can't sell them, so they put them in the auction. So we got the, I've got quite a few of these and they've sold really well. This one cost 59p from December and we sold it for £12.50. Someone's getting a bargain. It's still got its tags on it. This is a pretty brooch, if you're into your brooches. It's colourful. It's got a little sort of pearl bead drop on the bottom. It cost uh, 40p in December and sold for £10. That's some socks. Love a pair of socks. Uh, these are over-the-knee black socks. Uh, they've got little bows at the top. Uh, I don't know if kids wear this sort of thing to school still, but I put school in um, in the title. And when I want to say kids, I mean sort of older kids with their short skirts. Um, I also put fancy dress and party in the title. They cost 59p in August and sold for £5. We just had them in a big job lot. Another fast fashion item. This is like a corset top, I think. Pretty little thing. You're so busted, satin bustier top. It's a UK size six, so very small. It's brand new with tags. Listed it in November because it came in a big clothing bundle. And uh, cost £1.93 and sold it for £4. I've kind of reduced all the fast fashion items to £4 because that seems to be what people offer. And I just want them out. Ooh, we have a breakable. <coughs> What is this? Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot we had this and I forgot it was so tiny. <laughs> it's a piece of glass. It's Mats Jonasson, Janice Jonasson, it's uh, Scandinavian, a Swedish. It's a tiny little paperweight of a fish. It's signed by the maker somewhere. Not sure where. Oh, it's got a sticker on it. Oh yeah, it's signed right on the base. I don't know if you can see that. And it's lead crystal. Cost £3.6 and p as part of a bundle in August and took an offer of £11.11 11 because we've had it way too long. Right there. And then finally, ending on a bra. Listed this <coughs> literally a couple of weeks ago. Oh, come on. It is... Oh, there we go. Le Agent by Agent Provocateur. It's a demi bra. It's a 34D. It's brand new tags. 
and it's a collaboration with um, Monica and Penelope Cruz. Cost £1.76 and sold it for £22. I think we've got a pink one as well. Well, that might have sold already. Um, but yeah, really good money in bras. So, that is everything. Yeah, Simon's got to pack it all now while I do some more listing. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, pop over onto Instagram, say hi, follow us there. And we'll be back in a couple of days with another video. See you soon. Bye.